The soldiers of the 175th Infantry who you see before you carry on the legacy of their predecessors who fought valiantly in some of this nation's greatest conflicts. You know, we look around today, we see a city park, we see a neighborhood. But 200 years ago, this was where the last stand was to be made. On this date of September 11th, when most of the nation remembers those Americans who lost their lives in the attacks 13 years ago. We remember that date and what it means to our country, and we remember in our prayers those who lost loved ones on that date. But here in Baltimore, we also remember this date for another reason, and we remember it deeply. On Thursday, September 11th, 2014, the historic 1st Battalion, 175th Infantry Regiment, marched in the footsteps of those who defended Baltimore 200 years ago. Soldiers, sailors, and civilians marched six miles from Patterson Park in Baltimore to North Point Battleacre in Dundalk in honor of those who marched during the War of 1812 and for those who made the ultimate sacrifice for American freedom. Soldiers felt a sense of pride to have walked in the footsteps of their predecessors. It felt good knowing that people really supported us and that people knew what we were doing. Even though it's not the actual footsteps, we still got to walk with their souls and their spirits. So I feel really good about it. God save our Specialist Gareth Ainsworth, another member of the 1st Battalion, 175th Infantry Regiment, had a unique perspective and can relate to both sides of the story. I was born in Bangor in North Wales, and uh, my dad was in the Royal Air Force. Uh, I joined because I wanted to earn rather than claim my citizenship. Learning the eye and values, the warrior ethos and all that stuff, uh, it means a lot to me and I live by it every day. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed. 